anaina orasa irga ye ira enem eg ailista em e oka. I'm in a good mood today, as we'll go over a topic which might just be one of my personal favorites, the Eilis color system. It takes a systematic approach and exploits the tools of the Eilis Morpho syntax to the fullest to create an infinite amount of words to describe colors with. Infinite? Am I being serious? Infinite? Infinite? <laughs> yes, infinite. And it all starts with this little root word right here. Tai. It shouldn't come as a surprise to you that this word means color. In color theory, there are the three primary so-called additive colors, which are red, green, and blue, and the three primary subtractive colors, which are yellow, cyan, and magenta. The primary additive colors are equal to the secondary subtractive colors, and vice versa. And that is how we obtain a six-sided color wheel, which we will use as our framework for today. Eilis works with liska, or number concepts, and prefixes them to the root word tai. We get the first color, ai tai, the second color, e tai, the third one, which is i tai, then there's o tai, Uatai, and finally, Uaitai. Aitai is red, Etai is yellow, Itai, green, Otai, cyan, Uatai, blue, and Uaitai, magenta. There is also a seventh base color in Ailis, which uses the Liska for zero. Atai is the word for gray, or rather, Euless. In general contexts, you can use these seven words to describe the colors as you see them on screen. Atai for gray, aitai for red, etai for yellow, itai for green, otai for cyan or turquoise, uatai for blue, and uaitai for magenta, or also purple or violet. But the matter is slightly more elaborate, as each of these words is actually an umbrella term for the entire range of shades of a particular U. As such, the word atai designates everything between black and white. In other words, atai is the eyeless word for the grayscale. This applies to the other six words as well. Now, eyeless wouldn't be eyeless if there weren't a possibility to indicate several points on each scale specifically. The key is this root word, dai. Dai means as much as amount of light or amount of brightness, and qualifiers may bind to it in order to create, as qualifiers do, a range of words from one extreme to the other. Daiara is very dark, daiaira is dark, daiera is the middle value, daiira is light or bright, and daiora is very bright. Combine them, and you get a system that we visualize as a grid with two parameters, the U's on one hand and the shades on the other. This creates 35 words. Our grayscale words all start with atai, shades of red with aitai, shades of yellow with etai, shades of green with itai, shades of cyan with otai, shades of blue with uatai, shades of magenta with uaitai. Our very dark colors end in daiara, the dark ones in daiara, the middle ones in daiera, the bright ones in daiera, and the very bright ones in daiora. And there it is, 35 words you can use to describe 35 colors. Some of these words have a one-on-one -on -one translation with English. Atai daiara is black. Aitai daiara is maroon. Itai daiara we call olive. Itai dai aira is actual green. Otai dai aira is a color we call teal. Uatai dai aira is navy blue. Uaitai dai aira creates actual purple. Atai dai aira actual gray. Aitai dai aira actual red. Etai dai aira actual yellow. Itai dai aira lime. Otai dai aira aqua. Uatai dai aira actual blue. Uaitai dai aira fuchsia. Uaitai dai ira, pink, atai dai ora, white. But the fun doesn't stop there. Remember how in personal pronouns you could combine words like aite, me, and ete, you, to create aiete, you and me? 
I bet you know where I'm going with this. Just like a painter can mix different colors in order to create new ones, you can let out the linguistic painter in you and start mixing words like you would paint. For example, let's work with the red and yellow scales. If you mix aitai for red with etai for yellow, you obtain a new scale which is ai etai. Again, this scale can be complemented with qualifiers for indicating one of five points on it. For example, we obtain ai etai dai era for orange or ai etai dai era for brown. So let's mix some more. How about the gray scale atai? and the blue scale, uatai. If we combine the gray scale with any other, we allow ourselves to create words for pale colors. Some of these also have proper names in English. For example, awatai dai era for slate or awatai dai ora for lavender. Apart from use, shades can also be mixed. For example, if we take the word aitai dai aira, which is maroon, and combine it with aitai dai era, which is red, we obtain aitai dai aira, which is a shade of red right in the middle between the two. I'm pretty sure English has no distinct word for this color, but Eilis does. A last parameter we can throw into our system is the root word v, value. We can use tai ve to speak about the opacity of colors. Ve is also a qualifiable root word, which means it creates five extra suffixes we can attach to any other color word in order to say something about its opacity or transparency. The opacity scale ranges from veara, transparent, to veora, fully opaque. For example, let's take the word ai e tai dai era, which is the word for orange. If we mix in our opacity suffixes, we create five new words that range from ai e tai dai era ve ara, hardly visible orange, to ai e tai dai era ve ora, a fully opaque and intense color of orange. So yes, the amount of words for colors in Eilis is indeed infinite. Will you need all these words on a regular basis? Of course not. However, should your OCD ever compel you to create a really, really specific word to describe a color, then Eilis is there to cater to it. Hanai na